ficamrepair.com. We're all in this together. All right, Ed here at Ficam Repair to talk about, well, isn't that Ficam's? Um, a common question we get to folks is, is saying, hey, I checked my voltage on my Ficam and it's good, but I still think it's the Ficam. Could that be? The answer is yes, it certainly could. Keyword could be still the Ficam. So you can have a Ficam that produces proper voltage on the output side, so Ficam main power, those numbers are solid, no worries, and yet the Ficam is still bad and, uh, with a logic board issue. So if you put the key on engine off and you don't hear injector clatter, that could be a bad logic board. Or if your injector clutter is super duper weak, that could be a bad logic board. Or if a truck, if a truck starts and, and runs, but it uh, it's not running on all eight, um, you can start with high codes. That is uh, just a logic board uh, a problem. Um, well, primarily anyway. And so, uh, but in those scenarios, your logic, your your power still would be. It would still be you know um, on the output side, still at 45 50 volt range, number 46 to 50 volts. And so. Uh, and yet your Ficam is bad, and so the answer is absolutely yes. That is that that can can indeed happen. Invariably, when that happens, though, like nine times out of ten, you either have a bad cell on a battery, someone's been cranking the little bit of tar out of the thing trying to get it to start, following primarily and commonly high pressure oil system work, or you've got a bad voltage regulator on your alternator. The only way, way in which you uh, can can clear that as a culprit, as a potential culprit, is to go get your alternator bench tested when physically uncomfortably hot to the touch. I got a video that talks about that. So um, the clip dose version is yes, your victim can be bad if your voltage is good. All right. So hope this helps somebody. Thickrepair.com. We're all in this together. Thank you.